What is up guys and welcome back to the Raid Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So today we are going to be doing a beginner's guide on where you should be spending energy. This is really important. Energy is one of your most precious resources that you have in the game. Uh, but just before we do that, I do want to ask if you are new to the channel, uh, please do subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. Um, and yeah, so I am an end game free to play player. And with this guide, we're going to have some help from a very good friend of mine. Unga Bunga! Unga Bunga Confused. Where spend energy? That is an excellent question, Unga Bunga. So we are going to be spending about 80 to 90% of our time in campaign. We're going to be in Brutal and we are going to push up to level 12, stage 3. And you're going to 6 star your starter champion first. So that's Kale, Aethel, Elhane and Gaelic. Um, and then you're basically just going to be farming food and you want to 6 star other champions that are going to help you progress in dungeons. Um, and we're going to prioritize dungeons first because that's where we're going to get gear from. Gear will make your champion stronger and that means you can progress in dungeons and clan boss. And clan boss is one of the places where you get the best gear and the best rewards in the game. So the dungeon we want to focus on first is dragon. Dragon is the easiest dungeon and it has the best gear for early to mid game. You get accuracy which will help you land debuffs, speed which will keep you nice and fast. Lifesteal, arguably one of the best gear sets early to mid game. Um, it keeps your champions alive and it's just an amazing gear set. You can do so much with that. Um, and what we're going to do is you're going to sort of still, we're going to be focusing on campaign, but we are going to do a little bit of dungeons and we want to work our way up to stage 15. When you get to stage 15, you can start to farm it a little bit and we're slowly going to start building up our gear and then we want to push down to stage 20. So when you get Seal of the Drakes, I think that's after three months. Um, she is an amazing champion. She will carry you so hard and you will easily be able to do stage 20. Uh, stage 20, you can get five to six gear pieces and you don't need to worry about stage 25. I mean, stage 20 used to be end game and it still drops some of the best gear in the game. So it's perfectly fine. So we're going to focus in on that. Um, Ice Golem, I mean, it does have some nice gear in there, like crit rate's nice, defense is nice. Resistance is more sort of end game to be honest. Reflex is end game. Um, but it's quite an easy dungeon to wipe on, so I would avoid it. I wouldn't really be doing it too much to be honest. Um, Fire Knight um, has arguably, I well, know, it has the best gear in the game, but you need specific champions to do it. You need multi hitters and you need, well, you need champions that multi hit. So if you don't have any multi hitters, you're not going to be able to do it. So don't touch it for now. Um, spider, spider's Den, it is another great dungeon. Can Unga Bunga do Minotaur? Yes, Unga Bunga, you can farm Minotaur, but only after about four to six months. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 800 gems straight away into our um, Star Champion. That's going to make them so much stronger. It means they'll carry harder in dungeons. It's going to speed up your dungeon times. And then once we've got a solid dungeon team comp, we're going to come into Minotaur pushed about stage 12 and then if you can and as your champions get stronger we're going to go to stage 15 and ideally you want to be doing stage 15 because you'll get more bang for your buck um, and then once you've done that you're going to fully mastery your team and it is one of the most painful thing that every raid player has to go through and it will take you about a week to do but once you've done it it's going to make your team so much stronger. Then we can start putting masteries into other champions. So we'll be focusing any champions that are going to help us progress in clan boss. And then any other champions that help us in dungeons. And arena and PvP is the last thing on our mind. PvE will help you progress so much more in the game. So you prioritize that first. Unga Bunga want to do Iron Twins. No Unga Bunga. We are not going to be doing Iron Twins for about a year, year and a half. Um, you really want to be focusing on campaign to build up champion pool. Um, we want to be doing dungeons to get better gear. And we want to be focusing clan boss as well. We want to be, you know, getting that two key, one key on Ultra Nightmare. And once you've done that, then you can start looking at Iron Twins. And there's no point. I mean, this stage one to uh, probably 11, no, to 10 is just a pure trap. So much energy for so little reward. Um, and I'd only touch... Iron Twins if you can farm stage 14 and 15 comfortably. Once you can do that, then you can start to do Iron Twins. Unga Bunga want to do Sand Devil. No Unga Bunga. So we're not going to be doing Sand Devil either. Um, Sand Devil is just an absolute trap. It's so bait. Um, 
you're just going to be wasting energy for very little reward and it's really not going to you know buff your gear that much and also you want to have really good gear so you're going to have to spend a long time farming dungeons so there's no point in ascending weak ass gear you want to you know farm dungeons and get really good gear and then after maybe a year and a half maybe two years I, i'll be honest i don't know when but really like way way farther further down the line that is when you're going to start doing sand devil so again keep your eyes on the prize and focus that campaign and that dungeon and that clan boss so that is pretty much the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope this helps some of you guys have a better understanding of how you should use energy in the game and become a better player and progress faster um, also, I want to do a massive shout out to Unga Bunga. You're welcome, Unga Bunga. Um, couldn't do it without you, my friend. And yeah, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.